What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. And what I got for your face balls today, we got some spider codes to unbox. And in this video, you are going to, uh, I'm also going to include a new uh, video that I shot at Omaha Knife uh, just yesterday. Uh, they had actually sent this box out before I stopped in there. So I received this in the mail today. So I figured I would include it. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Check out some new stuff at Omaha Knife. Uh, they just uh, updated their website and have the new website totally up and going. By the way, the old unboxing knife is uh, this Sabenza 21 here. Let's see what we got. Looks like two today. Of course, we'll check the factory sharpness here in a moment. And I also have this one as well. Um, so let's just get into it. Right on. So these are, this is the new uh, Spyderco Pacific in green FRN with LC200N, which is super cool. So that one is the serrated version. If you've never handled the Pacific, it's just, it's really good in hand. Uh, you know, it's just a, a big Delica essentially, or like the, Endura, uh, but we're gonna check the factory sharpness, so I'm gonna leave that out for a moment. Let's check out this one. All right, so we got another green one here. I'm sure this one will be plain edge, but LC200N. Yeah, really cool knives. Definitely gonna be. Uh, good for the old uh, boating trips and what have you fishing uh you know lc200n is essentially a rust proof steel and yeah in a pretty cool package and it's a you know a cheap way to be able to experience lc200n uh, these knives are relatively inexpensive so that's really cool that they do that and then we got uh this guy here now this is a standard model but can be really hard to get your hands on and this one happens to be the uh, Spyderco PM2 in Maximet. So this is a new run that Spyderco just did on the, the Maximet PM2s. And they are pretty difficult to find. However, you can find them at Omaha Knife. So stay tuned and you will get to see uh, all their info and whatnot and check out the store and... Yeah, see all the things they have there. So real quick, let's uh, check out the factory edges on these knives. We'll see how the Japanese factory is doing as well as, we'll start with the serrated, as well as uh, Golden Colorado. Here we go. 110. So really great result there on the LC 200N. 110 is a fantastic uh, number. You know, we're looking for something under 200 for a factory edge. That's uh, incredibly sharp. And 110 is, is really fantastic. So for that serrated edge, that's a, a really, really good, uh, good edge on that knife. So let's check out the plain edge here. Ooh, not quite as good, 170 on the uh, Plain Edge LC200N, but a little bit of stropping will bring that thing right up, and uh, still, still a really sharp edge. And got my other holder here. Let's check out, see what the edge is like on this Maximet PM2. One of the the most uh, or highest edge retaining steels out there, uh, arguably in a production knife. This is about as good as it gets. So here we go. 130. It's a very, very sharp knife. The Maximet PM2. Really cool one for sure. And yeah, definitely uh, pretty awesome that Spyderco offers all these really cool steels. So, there you go. 
We got a couple LC200N Pacifics, serrated and plain edge, and the Maximet PM2. Stay tuned. Check out the video I did at uh, Omaha Knife, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Catch you next Today, time. I'm at Omaha Knife once again. The new and improved Omaha Knife. They've got a new website. Go and check it out. Here's all their contact info. But I'm going to give you a walk around the shop real quick. Uh, I am joined here today by Ann and Destiny. Say hello, ladies. Hey. <laughs> Hi. All right. So we're going to we're going to take a look and see what they've got in the cases here today. Uh, ton of Benchmade stuff. As you guys would expect, I'm sure there's lots of Benchmades. Um, and so definitely call them and uh, see what they've got going on. Uh, calling. Yeah, phone's already ringing. See, you guys are missing out right now. Uh, we got some Medfords out here. Uh, what is this? Uh, the Swift. The Swift. FL. Swift FL. And then we have the uh, Praetorian T. I need to get my camera squared away here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so they have a really good selection of Medfords. And you can see some more down here in the cases. I got some light glares there. But uh, so you can see some more Medfords right here. And then we get into the Chris Reeves section of this. Um, they've got really good selection of 31s for you that are interested. Some 21s left. Got inlays. Full size and small Sabenzas. Even got the sweet Damascus. You just got that one. And it's the lunar beautiful. Landing. The lunar landing. That thing's really cool. Yeah, that thing's sweet. When I was out at Chris Reeves, uh, this is like a year ago, the girl that did the artwork for that was there working on this design actually when I was there. She did the previous one as well. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So there you go, some Sabenzas. We've got some Hinderers. We have a few up here, XM18. I think this is a three and a half um, XM18. We got a half track. It's a skinny. Skinny? Skinny version of it. Gotcha, that's a skinny as well. Mm -hmm. A yeah, skinny slicer. Skinny. I don't know all the Hinderer lingo. These are sheep's foot. There we go, see? See, Ann can help you out with all your uh, Hinderer lingo requirements. So, uh, they are so, hard to get though. So. Yeah, absolutely. We've got some Protex. We've got a Magic Whiskers here with the uh, bronze like blade. The yeah, there you go. I have one hand holding the camera. Mm -hmm. All right. The Magic Whiskers. Sweet. Yeah, awesome knife. Can't go wrong with the Protex. So, here we go. And then we got some spider coves here and this is a sneak peek guys so there's only a few of these left so whoever sees this video first but i had them set out these two right here uh this is the gail bradley 2 uh, which i actually have mine in my pocket at this moment uh, so they have that but they also have got a pair of twos pm2 in maximet so you want one of those? You better hit them up quick. There's only a few of them. But there's a good selection of spider coves. You can see right here. And then we've got used knives down here. Uh, it works better if I go from the front. It's too much glare. But you can see here, there's a really good selection of used stuff in the case. And so this, again, is all used knives right here. Um, we even have the $5 holler box. You know, everybody needs a shit box. So there you go. You can have that. All right, so on the wall behind me here, we got some kitchen knife stuff. We have uh, Shun brand, I think. I don't know. Don't, don't know much about uh, the kitchen cutlery world. And we've got a case... Uh, full of uh, odds and ends. Apparently uh, some other Russia flag there. Uh, <laughs> and we got some Wustoff uh, knives and apparently the ladies here are telling me that they will have more of the kitchen cutlery soon. 
So they have a pretty good selection of it now, though, as you can see. And if uh, you need some extreme weapons lubricant or grease, you know, this is your, this is your place. Uh, but now we get into the axes, hatchets. Uh, there's a couple different brands. We have Council. Uh, is that right? Council? And we have Cold Steels. So, yeah. If you want to get proficient in your Filipino footwork with Lynn Thompson, here are your uh, hatchets and axes right there. And uh, I'm told this is also a world that I don't know at all. But the Council uh, Flying Fox right here, apparently these are legit throwing axes. Uh, and it looks like a good hatchet otherwise. Uh, so, and then we also have the, uh, how do you say it again? Grand's Force Brook. Grand's Force Brook. Handcrafted, made in Sweden. Well, why don't you come over here? Come over here and tell the lovely people what these are. I have no idea what these things are. So they've got a hell of a selection here of axes and hatchets and little tiny ones and big ones and um, all sorts of. Small forest yeah. is definitely the best seller. Okay. Also the Scandinavian forest axe, which is over the, here. There. Oh, so gotcha. So people like to know what they are like side by side. The Scandinavian forest axe and the what, what was the small other one? Forest. The small, small forest. forest. Scandinavian. Gotcha. Two best. There you go. Two best sellers. So I don't know the big ones. What two? A little over two foot long. Uh, handle. I don't know. It's nearly twenty four inches. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. All right. So there you go. Bunch now, of axes, you want to hatchets. Stuff for your fireplace this winter. For your your splitting malls. Mm -hmm. All kinds of shapes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep, the Phoenix flashlights. Definitely, they make some cool stuff for sure. So, definitely have some uh, some small flashlights, and CR one twenty three stuff, and uh, yeah, the whole lineup. They have all the all of them there. So, uh, yeah, got a few Moras. We just ordered hundreds of them. So. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. All right. So there's some more is coming. <laughs> All right. So then there's a few other cases up here. We've got some glasses. Uh, the Wiley X. Wiley X glasses. And then we also have the uh, Berkey water pur purification systems. So apparently these things are really uh, popular. We use one here every day. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what it is right mm -hmm. there? I didn't even know what the it was. The ones in there are the stainless steel. Gotcha. That one's this clear is, to show this how, is how it works. It, yeah, this is how it works. So oh, okay. The filters and uh -huh. it's gravity fed down to here. So it's, nice. That's cool. It's a super filtration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. So going the other way around the counter here, um, got Benchmade fixed blades. And then we get into Microtex. We've got Exosets. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of OTFs. Oh, yeah, UTX-70s, uh, UTX-85s right there. And then, um, oh, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, huge selection of Microtech. I don't even know how many are in here. There's a ton of them. Uh, a lot of OTFs. And the Ultratech size. Yep, Ultratex. One of the newer colors that they've come out with. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's cool. Or the, the hardware bronze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. For sure. Yeah, the battle worn look. Distressed. Distre oh, sorry. <laughs> Distressed. <laughs> All right. And then we got some SOCOMs, got an LUDT, um, and then. Uh, Hellhound. Hellhound blades, yeah, and then what are these combat trudons or whatever? Mm -hmm. and then we also have that Hellhound and a combat trudon. Sweet. That was really there you go. Right now, and this is a regular and, trudon with the JG tag. Yeah, that's cool. You can almost see all the inner workings there. Yeah, that's Just pretty not cool. Quite. Not qu <laughs> not quite all of it. Yeah. And then this is the the UDT. Which that comes with the 
I don't even think I don't I've seen that one. I know how to describe the price tag, but it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. It's because the insides the, are all coated. Oh, gotcha. Nickel boron. Internal. Oh, they did nickel boron on the inside of the handle? On the internal. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely the smoothest Microtech I've... It's smooth. Yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely is. That's definitely the smoothest one I've ever handled, for sure. All right, so moving on. Uh, we've got a local maker here. Um, what was that? BCR. BCR, BCR Forge. Forge. There we go. And uh, this guy is actually forging from ingot steel. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here looks to be 1095. Uh, but you can see some down here, like this guy right here is 52100, it says. Uh, this one over here is 1084 high carbon. So definitely some, some cool stuff there. And he's local to the Omaha area. And then, and then what do you got there? This is a Guardian Tactical. Oh, with an inlay. Mm -hmm. This is a carbon fiber inlay. We have a couple different options. And we also do have another big order coming from them. Sweet. So, I like the Guardian the Tacticals. Side. They're awesome. <clears throat> I haven't seen the inlays. Those are cool. They're pretty. Yeah. 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 My dad loves the one that he got. He? Yeah. He, he was like a six-year-old kid when I gave it to him. <laughs> he was like, is this mine? Really? <laughs> There's a couple of Paragons. Uh, and then they got some Bally's up here. And yeah, there's a Bradley, Baron Son. I'm not really a Bally guy, so I don't know all of them. Got some CRKTs. There's a Kershaw Bally right there. New one. Yeah, some cool stuff. Got some Hogue automatics down here. Got the SOG, that ultra lightweight SOG. That thing's pretty cool. Some Kershaws. And then we have another custom maker. This is Brozac, and here's one of his knives there. That thing's pretty sweet. And that, he the brought The green that and black handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. And what's the steel on it, or do you know? This one is, I'm not sure. He forgot, he <laughs> forgot to give me so, the... Yeah. Oh, didn't give you the card on that yeah. one? He's been using a lot of O1 recently, mm -hmm. but they do vary. Nice. Yeah, and I think the last time I was in, they, these were over on the other side, right? Mm -hmm. And he had just brought them in. Yep. Yep, but they're a real reasonable price for what they are. Yes. Um, really nice looking yeah, stuff. He does some refurbishing. So this is an old knife that he bought off of eBay. Mm-hmm. And then he, and then he redid the handle. And oh, nice. He said he did the mustard etching on the blade. Oh, yep. He also does customs where he yeah, that's pretty sweet. Blanks. Oh, right on scene. You can choose yeah, the wood, that's cool. the inlay, whatever you want, and he'll make it for you. Nice. So there you go, guys. Brozac. Give Ann and Destiny a call. They'll uh, hook you up there. All right. Now we're going over here and uh, going to look at some sharpening stuff. Bench stones. We got some two-sided. Uh-huh. Double-sided bench stones. And those all come with the wooden case, Give looks like. Straw. And that's from Pride Abrasives? Yep. All right. And then... We have we got, a whole line of Edge Pro goodies. Yep. I just did a review on the new Edge Pro. Uh, diamond Matrix. Uh, uh, yep. I had the Diamond Matrix stones with the Edge Pro Apex. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Do you have a professional <clears throat> system or I, a regular? I don't know. Well, I don't remember. What, I th no, I think <laughs> it was the Pro. What did you Edge Pro Apex. Exactly. What did you uh, yeah. I mean, I had this bench clamp and I had that, the slide guide. And, uh, and how did you do? It did well. It works good, yeah. Yep, I just, I literally posted that review uh, maybe, I don't know, a couple weeks, two or three weeks ago, something like that. So here's strapping belts. What are, are these for? Uh, That's a uh, 30 belt. Oh, just the one, yeah, system. yeah, there you go. All right, yeah. <clears throat> right on. And then over here we have pretty much, I think, the full lineup agenda stuff, yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean. It sure as hell looks like it. So all the Genda straps, the nano cloth straps with uh Genda nano cloth for the Edge Pro it looks like. Or the one by six or the Genda system. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, so the Genda system. Yeah, the yeah, they're one by six stones. Okay. So uh yeah, all the Genda CBN emulsions, different sizes, different strop sizes. 
So these are like, uh, uh, what are they, 210 by 70 millimeter. And then the smaller ones are uh, two by six, two inches by six inches. So a lot of sharpening stuff. And then uh, we got, this stuff's brand new. This is called Gunny Juice. And these are uh, diamond emulsions or like a paste uh, that I'm told works really well on balsa wood. Uh, so they got several different uh, different grits. This is half micron we and comes half, in different sizes. One half and 0.25 micron. Okay. Awesome. And there's the Edge Pro, the older one. Or the first generation, I guess. Yeah, it's older. Yeah. <laughs> right on. And then this is the Genda sharpener, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And we have been in contact with him. He slowed way down with his production with all the... The shit show in the world. Yeah. Um, but he's he's just about to ship more systems to us. So nice. Yeah, and this is one of the things that I talked about with the the uh, Edge Pro having something to have a fine adjustment for the angle adjustment, and this one here is really cool the way it works. So you've got this one gear here that's spinning a gear on both sides uh, to adjust the the height, and then of course. See if I can hold this off to the side. You flip the jaws. So, very similar to like the TS Prof uh, sharpening system, but Which this is the Genda brand. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You're going to have the TS Prof as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. So, Omaha Knife. You guys need to come and check it out. Check out the new website. They got all the stuff you need. You got fancy axes. <laughs> fancy knives, and even some unnamed scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, before, they, uh, before they're gone, you better uh, get hooked up with the Maximet PM2. So let me, uh, I'll walk back down here and show the business card one Omaha more time. OmahaKnife.com. OmahaKnife.com <laughs> Omaha is the new website. And here is all of the contact info, give them a call, talk to Ann, Destiny, or Curtis. Follow us on the socials. Yeah, follow them on the socials, wherever that is. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Omaha Knife. Omaha Knife. There Omaha you go. Knife. Whatever you guys want to say. Peace out. <laughs> We're out. Later, bitches. <laughs>